Okay, welcome to Coffee with the K's. It is 2021. Woo! 2021. Welcome Happy to the new, new year. year. Yes. Yay. There we go. Awesome. Mmm. Very good. Very good. Welcome back if you were listening to us before. And uh, if this is the first time listening, welcome to our crazy podcast. I hope you enjoy it. Well, I hope you will enjoy it. You will it. enjoy it. it. Yes, it's fun. Yes. BLC, bring your own coffee. There you <laughs> that's go. Right, that's right. That's right. Have a cup or of coffee. Or go to Josh's. Okay, so come <laughs> <laughs> we are filming live on location. Yes. Yes. Our first official video, video. podcast. Yes, yes. yes. So good. this is for, if you're watching us on YouTube, thank you very much for joining us. <laughs> you will enjoy our episode today. So uh, what are we drinking? I'm drinking um, I, one of my new favorite companies, Boyer's Coffee, which is in Colorado. Mm. A shout out to Boyer's. And um, this is peppermint cream. And mm. uh, we've been enjoying that through the whole holiday. And we put um, Josh made it well, before. We've been enjoying it through the whole holiday. Means one day in the last two weeks, you gave me one pod of that coffee to no, enjoy. It, it didn't come in pods. I don't think you've had any. <laughs> <laughs> there we go, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Josh and I. Josh and I have been enjoying the peppermint cream. Yes, it's yes, been delicious. It is. Yeah. We had it, and then you made it. You may have had it. When he no, I did. I made one for you on, uh, on New, Year's New Year's morning, morning oh, okay. yes. which you don't remember because you got two hours of sleep that night. So you just, <laughs> yeah. it was a bit medicinal Probably cup of coffee. Bit. Yeah. So but that it's was, very good. that was peppermint good. cream and it doesn't have like a artificial, some of those flavored coffees have like an artificial aftertaste to it. And this doesn't, it has, it tastes yeah. like coffee and yeah. it has there like a go. hint of peppermint. Cool. And I, I don't know. It's I, a pour over. It's very good. So yes. that's what I'm drinking, and that's what Josh is drinking. You having that or no? No, I'm, oh. I'm having the, the pumpkin spice Nespresso. Oh, very nice. Yeah, because I got a couple left. I want to try to finish that up good. so I can order more. Yay, yeah. that's yeah, it. So tell them what you made me. What did I make you? Oh, no, you don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I had a little <laughs> Drano and some <laughs> leftover. I don't know. It was black. I just threw it in and figured it was coffee. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> No, I know what I made you. I made you a uh, uh, quad scuro cappuccino with heavy cream. A quad scotum scuro. <laughs> <Scurrow. laughs> I don't know. It's, we always tell Josh asks us what we want every Sunday, and we say just make just it yummy. Make, yes. Make it. Uh, so this is say. this is a, a really dark espresso roast. It's very good. It's four shots, heavy cream instead of milk. That's you important. haven't tried it. Very important. You need to try the yes. heavy cream instead of milk. You don't need much. Right. Tastes great. Yes. But the new thing that we got, because we got some new coffee paraphernalia. Mm -hmm. You know, we have the Instapod. And then we got that thing that you put the cream in. It goes... Yeah, what is frother. it? Yeah, a frother. A frother? No, I like no. the technical term. <laughs> but it's hard to ask it for. It. No. Yeah. It's not just the Get, little... <laughs> you put the cream... I'll take one. <laughs> please. <laughs> You put you put the cream in, and then you push the button, and it heats it up and yeah, electric it. foot frother. at the same. Yeah, it is so fun. It's really fun. You so know what? Been... I, I don't even use it. I just go to the refrigerator and grab the cream and pour it in, and it's and just it's good. Coffee, you know? I don't know, but yeah. no, you have the. You like espresso. to play with toys like that. I, I do. Mean, <laughs> I really. I do. Well, but, I really you do. know, because it depends <laughs> on how quickly you drink your coffee too. Yes. Because if you're drinking it fast, just putting in the cream and just going for it is probably the best way to go. If you're going to sip on it a little bit, that little bit of froth that sits on it's the top nice. is always yeah. good because it takes time to kind of seep in as you sip on it. It is, and it. I like putting it in the, the cup, like the clear cups, like what you have. Yeah. We have two it's clear nice. cups at our house. Because you can kind of watch. Do you have two of these? No, we have the glass ones. Okay. But they're Thought clear. I know, because I, I, <laughs> I got those one time and I could never find them again. I know, so, so if anybody knows where we can get these. Yeah. Double insulated. Double insulated. Cappuccino, cappuccino cups. cups. Yeah. Okay. Really so, good yeah. stuff. <laughs> Let good. us know. You know, you could probably get them on Amazon. I, mean, I know. I'm sure you could. Okay, okay. Can we go to the next subject? Okay, we are filming <laughs> this on a Sunday for a reason. Because if you have been joining us for the last season, you know that we, we are Browns fans. Okay. And uh, we, we had a, a debate, didn't last very long, on whether we should do the podcast on Saturday or wait do it 
Sunday after the game. We so took a chance. We took a chance. It was, it was, it was This was either going to be a really depressing podcast. Yes. It was a really? two-point gamble. <laughs> and, and you can tell by the smiles on our faces. The Browns Yay. won. And they're We're in the playoffs. The playoffs yes. Baby. yes. Uh-huh. Yeah, there we go. Boom. Awesome. Yay. Yeah. We're very excited. So, yes. We're very happy about that. So I got to tell you, because Josh wore his shirt, the dog pound shirt. <laughs> the dog and, pound, um, yeah. He was wearing that at the beginning of the season, and we were losing. Hmm. And he wore it today to prove that there's no such thing as jinx in the football. So because his means. father has a Landry jersey. <laughs> <laughs> Every time he wears it, Landry doesn't know where he is, and they lose. Yeah, and well, the and so I, sometimes it's it. not his fault. Yeah. It's not, but you only really wore it once. I like Landry. I, like I think Landry. he's Landry's just got incredible match. guts. You yes. know, he's a he's yes. a fighter. He's yes. Right. He it's can good. hold on to the ball. Yeah. Yes. Well, yes, he's all he business when he's out there, man. He's not right. smiling and mugging for a camera. He's yeah. doing his thing, man. That's right. But they all stepped it up today. You know, uh, you know, Chubb did great, and Hooper. 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 Wow. Hooper. Hooper. He, Hooper. <laughs> Yep. Yeah, yeah, that was the thing. I started screaming and yelling at Hooper when he dropped that first pass. It was yes. like, like stupor's back. <laughs> I know, but then that was it. And then he pulled it in and he yes. planted and he, yes. he got it. He turned touchdown. it around completely. Yes. Yeah. And so, Baker like ran for how many yards? Like 50. Oh, yeah, more yards, yards than I mean, Hunt yeah. by the time the I game know. was done. This is a gutsy so quarterback. Yeah. I know. But gutsy. this is the Baker we wanted. That's yeah. This was the Baker that yeah. from the beginning when he first started playing, that was the Baker we saw. He was yeah. the one that if he couldn't make Make the throw. He was using his feet, right. and nobody could tell what he was gonna do. That was Baker before that, the progressive commercial. Yeah, well, but yeah. now he's <laughs> oh, thirty-two. Yeah, Baker. yeah well, that's the, that's the thing. But he did great. He was like doing everything. Yes, he did yes. awesome. He was, he was, he was yeah, and then certainly like, won he my ran respect. And, Hunt yeah. blocked. I mean, they were working. It was a team. It was a team. I love that, that. Who had that you know? interception? It was that Stewart Jr.? Was that yes, yeah, Stewart, Stewart Jr. Jr. Yeah, interception. We need that. That, that was, was awesome. good. Miles Garrett's looking a lot better. I think he's feeling better. I think he's feeling COVID. better today. Yeah. He looked, But they, like, so double team him. So they yeah. just, you know. Well, you know, it takes tough. three. He well, does. it does. But he's they were, amazing. But Joe he's Woods was worker. doing a good job. The defensive coordinator was doing a really good job because there were several times where they were lining him up on the, on the end. Yeah. And he wasn't doing the edge rush. He was playing more like corner and safety yeah. and stuff and it was totally throwing them off. Well, that's like when, when Miles dropped back like he was yeah. playing like he yeah. was a safety. They exactly. Like, what, 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 what is it? Yeah, yeah that's it. it. Totally know, that's threw them okay. off. Okay, what is with Conklin and Batonio. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. They've never been here out before. To lunch no, somewhere. they've never oh been God. here before the pressure got to them. They were all freaking out. Oh, my out. God. That's, that's, that's what it is. That's the first time I remember yeah. Batonio twice having off Yeah, sides. and he's usually I mean, a rock. He's usually yeah, very no, solid. It, I don't know. He's, he, those mistakes. He's a very good player. He is, but yeah, exactly. today, there was... You know, so, that's episode just a mention. But that's it. But those mistakes are not going to happen next week. They're, no, they're just not. They're just oh not. No, they're week. not going to happen. He's going <sighs> to be. They're going to be on it. So we need to provide some perspective for the people that are not Browns fans or you know not. You not know, yet Browns. Not fans. yet they're Browns not fans. Browns fans. Yeah. Thinking of becoming Browns fans. Okay, so this is a team that you know when first started in the NFL uh, won the very first championship game before there was a Super Bowl. You know we had the the championship games. You know they were on top. You know and had always dominated. And then just you know as the league got bigger, um, never was quite as good. Lots of misfortune. Uh, team ended up getting sold to Baltimore. Um, that was horrible. You know, put the put the city through um, a lot, and and you know Browns Nation all over all over the the country, and you know now you know there's, we've got people all over the world that are Browns fans, you know, yes. and, and rooting for rooting for this team. And Browns fans are very loyal, and um, you know we we are we are hard workers, you know, and uh, and especially you know the Cleveland, you know, very much like Pittsburgh, you know, steel town, yeah. you know, yeah. blue collared workers, yeah. you know, and so you know this this team and these these sports, you know, the the games that we watch, you know, the, these teams mean a lot to us, and a lot of times they represent you know the people, you know from that from that area and you know the that kind of Cleveland Browns you know nation and uh for them to 
you know, we, we were, we stuck with him through the winless season, you know, yes, we did. and we stuck with him through the, the two and 32, you know, and all that. And, yeah. you know, many a day could have been, well, playing I, golf uh, I've been, been with them for forever, know, long time. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Well, and, the, and they're always, they're very, they're very emotional. They're yes. very passionate. You can't they watch are a bronze the Rottweilers fan. of the NFL. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting <laughs> experiment to put a heart monitor on a person <laughs> <laughs> sitting in front of a Browns game. I know, we check our Fitbits yeah, after the it. game. That would yeah. be funny. But, but, I mean, that's the thing is, like, you know, going through those games, they suck you in like that. You know, they're, they're so much. So to finally be in the playoffs the first time in 18 years that they're in the playoffs, you know, that's 18 just... 18 years, that, that's yeah. amazing. I mean, that's... Um, they yeah. were talking about this team a year or more ago being, like, Super Bowl chance because they had oh, yeah. you know they had the talent they had Landry yep. and oh, yeah. you know Odell, Odell Beckham, Beckham yeah. you know and yeah the, no, nobody and, had and that Baker kind of firepower just, yeah yeah and you know now there's little They're finally starting there. to live and up overcoming to that. all of these uh, of COVID I mean we've had so yeah. many players well, last out week with COVID was just I mean, really bad and you know four receivers out you know I, know. I oh, think yeah. they still could have won it they just oh yeah the they were psyched out right. I think yeah. they were really psyched out I mean it's I, I think well, it was did, bad coaching they he, did a they did I like their run fancy, through but, yeah but last week he he didn't he didn't have any kind of well, common sense somebody to what he was doing somebody said that that was the first game that he looked like a rookie coach yes and he i was did. like yeah that was without that's, a doubt summed it up but i, I well. think it yeah. shook him having all those players we had six players out that on the COVID. they list. did their run no through. but you, I mean, you couldn't go to the dance anyway when they did well no, pick your right. heels up that's they did their run through in the garage i know well that was the problem <laughs> in the parking that garage was, that was part of the problem but i don't think even you know, and they they did their best to not make excuses. I think yeah. for it, but well, and their, their plane doesn't was do supposed that. to he, leave at leave at yeah. seven. It didn't leave till like ten or something. They got into New York after midnight. Mm -hmm. They didn't get a run through. They didn't ever walk through of the the yeah. stadium and the facilities. Yeah. And then this week, they got to practice once because the facilities got closed down twice because of COVID. So I mean, they've overcome a well, lot of odds. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of hard on Stefanski because yes. of. The history I have with the Browns, I know. that I, I just don't have room for it. It's kind of clown stuff, especially with the clowns, you know, Hugh Jackson and all that. It was like a circus, you yeah. know. It this is nice. ridiculous. This man's getting time. paid this yeah. professional it's money to, to oh, do this. Geez. You yeah. could grab a high school coach and yeah. throw him out there and he'd yeah. do just as well, you know. And but so, but Go the ahead. thing I would say about Stefanski is he appears to learn from his mistakes. Yes. yes. He can really do something stupid, but you could almost guarantee that particular thing's not going to happen again. Yeah, yeah. yeah he yeah. Just, and I respect him for that. Yeah, that's it. Very good. That's how you win. That's, that's it. That's it. So there was an interesting thing I heard um, a while back. I think I shared it with you guys before. And I, we specifically said, oh, this would be great for the podcast. Yes, because we actually right. talk other than when we're... Um, I know, I know. Yeah. Like what you guys are seeing right now or hearing right now this is, is... This is pretty normal. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty much, <laughs> you know. No, normal conversation. So there was a guy who um, who said that he felt like whoever you root for, sports wise, and whichever team you root for, says a lot about you and who you are, like as a person, personality. Oh, that's an interesting okay. theory. Yeah. Well, and his his <laughs> reason sure I like that theory. Well, his reasoning was because he had a caller that that called on, and this is uh, this this was a uh, a guy who. He's a LeBron James fan, right? Oh yeah, oh I, yeah. You, you remember this? this? All right, yeah, so yeah. he's a he's a LeBron James fan. So he's asking him, well, "Are you a Cavs fan?" Well, no, you know, because even though LeBron, he's not following the Cavs anymore now. Yeah. He he's cheering LeBron. for Lakers, right. and he's like, "Well, if Lakers, if, if you know, LeBron retires tomorrow, who you know, he, the guy was living in Houston, you know, and he really should be a Rockets fan, you know, Houston Rockets fan, but." He's uh, he's like, no, I, I cheer for the Lakers, you know, and he's like, yeah, so, you know, if if LeBron leaves, you know, and this might have actually even been before he left to go to L.A. He might have this because it was yeah. an old recording I was watching. So okay. he might have still been in Cleveland. And he was like, you know, yeah, he leaves. And what are you like? Yay, Kevin Love. Like, is that really? <laughs> 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 I know. Yeah, I know. Yeah, 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 see, 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 real fans. All right. Yeah, come on. I know. Come on. 
So it was funny because he was talking about that, about how he feels like sometimes it says a lot about the kind of person that you are, where it's like you, you have to attach yourself to a winner. And, and if they're winning, <laughs> well, because they, t- that they do it. That is not the Cleveland Brown fan. No. no. And that's the that was his point. And it's more like attaching yourself to a dump truck going down <laughs> the street. I know. That was exactly his point, though, is he's like, when you have stuck with that team, yes. when they finally do win, yep. it means so much more yes, to you because right. you've yes. stuck it out with them. Yeah. You've been through the good, the bad, the ugly, and now, you know, you it really means. think And, and it, all I can think about was when the Cavs won that championship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah you crazy. know, yeah. Well, yeah, we, went, we crazy. went crazy. I mean, we, we that was yeah, like, I remember the next I day. in the car. Yeah. Listening to that. To the parade. Yeah, to the yeah. parade. We were home when they won, but then yeah. the parade. Was, yeah, they did the yeah. parade. We were going to Nashville. Yeah, it was the city's reaction. Yeah. What I was talking about. Oh, I well, know. Well, yeah. even like, I remember going <laughs> through the next day. I don't even remember what happened. Like, like getting know, to the end of the day and being like, like, wow, did I just go to school and work and drive here? Because like, I don't even remember because yeah, I, I was just so high, you know, yeah. and I remember you even said you were like, you know, the, the Cavs won the championship, you know, it was like, <laughs> yeah, you know, like it was just, it did. It meant yeah, it so huge. much. Well, you know? it, it well I just me... think what it's going to mean if the Browns ever do win the Super Bowl. Oh, oh my gosh. Yeah. They'll have to rebuild the city. <laughs> I know. But, you know, that's what there. happened when the Saints won the Super Bowl because mm-hmm. people well, like... I think even more than the Saints. It, 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 the Saints, you know, it's uh, affectionate fans. Well, yeah. Oh, yeah. In Cleveland, yes. it's not affection. No. no, but there were people like our friend Tyrone. Hi, Tyrone, if you're watching. Mm-hmm. He was... You know, born and raised in in New Orleans, and he was a diehard Saints fan, the way that we're diehard Browns fans. Yeah. And he sees me every day, and he talks about the Browns because he knows that he has the same passion for the Saints, yeah. win, lose, draw, right. as we right. have for the Browns. And so when the Saints won, I mean, he had stuck with them all those years through losses, and then when you know that was that who dad came in, and right. and it used to upset you because people jumped on the Saints oh, bandwagon man. when they that were winners. Yeah. That's the whole point. They yeah. jumped on when they were winners. Well, Katrina had a, a role in oh, uh, big yes. time. Yes. Yeah, it did. that was, you, that was your huge. heart went out to them. It did. Right. You know, the city of New Orleans, and then oh, all of a sudden they got a football team that's winning. It's I like, know. Oh it's my amazing. god, yeah. that was amazing. Yes, that was that was the year. That was the same year, though, wasn't it? Or was it? Well, they won the Super Bowl the year after. I think it was the, yeah. Yeah, that was it. Yeah, so how do we tie amazing. this into music lessons? That's pretty amazing. Well, you know, it was just that idea of being, you know, the the person who's going to stick with the process. That's yes. going to stick Whoa. with it. And wow. Round it out. You get the one. award for that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> there you go. Awesome. There you go. That's a good one. There you wow. go. So we're talking about, you know, right before we turned everything on, like, okay, what are we going to say? What are we going to talk about? And, you know, I think everybody's excited about uh, the new year. You know, it's uh, new 20, 2021, yes. you know, a lot of people were down on 2020. You know, it's the worst year ever, you know, and all that stuff. And, you know, um, you know we want, we obviously want 2021 to be better. You know, oh, yeah. um, but I think that, uh, you know, I've been talking to a lot of other people about the idea of the new year, um, you know, us having a bit of a role in making, you know, things, better. making things better, you know, it's your attitude. I think. The, things are not just going to magically change, no. you know, just because the calendar turned over, you know, right. And, um, you know, I think it is, it's about, it's about our attitude. It's about being thankful. You know. I think a lot of people, that's something that I've been kind of listening to as people talked about the new year and and then reflecting on 2020. I think um, I think a lot of people began being more thankful for small yeah. things, for little things. And mm-hmm. instead of complaining, well, complaining all the time, which that happened too, but also, <laughs> but, but being thankful for small things because you started looking for things to be thankful for and you had the time. Because you were home, you, yeah. could, you could find things to be thankful for. I mean, I. Yeah, it wasn't a, a total bummer. No, you know, it wasn't. There were some bright spots. There was. There were. There was a truckload of oppression. You know, a lot yeah. of bad things happening yeah. in the world, and in all stages of yeah. disease and politicians, and that's another disease. <laughs> you know, and it just very depressing. But there were uh, moments of of great prosperity and joy in the, yeah. in the mix of that. Yeah. And I think if you can 
see that and appreciate that it makes you stronger it does absolutely you know you and josh you know both talked about that that you know 2020 had some really good things that we we all went through together i mean and some really bad things but that was the thing that we all went through it together it wasn't like just me going through a rough time but you and you and you and we all kind of felt the same thing yeah. at the same time that, that sense of we were all seeing what was happening yeah. it should be a unifying force i, I, think I mean it, it was. can be yes. Yeah. yes you know and yeah. you got those people that no matter what they're not going to get on board but no. i think it, it, if you are well, human and that, have a pulse yeah we, that's know? it's all about where you do, you focus you know yeah. where, yes. where you put your focus you know perspective too. yeah it really is but about, you have to yeah. kind of take control of that you yeah, know absolutely because i think it's too easy to get into and you get around a bunch of negative people and people that are you know just down on everything and then you just say oh yeah you know and then you're right in there and you know then you, you just kind of keep you you practice that mindset there right? you go that yeah so you yes. go you know when you when you practice, you build muscle memory because you do the same things over and over again, right? Yes. And, you know, mindset is something that you can practice just as well, you know? You take control of those thoughts. That's right. Know? So. But we saw a lot of our students really succeed on their instruments. They had more time to practice, yeah, yes. you know, working from home that gave them more time. Or what I noticed is doing some of the remote lessons, the students saved on time so they don't have to drive to to our location and drive home well you know they an interesting just thing practice I just, and then go right to their lesson and then practice right again yes something i just thought of that's kind of interesting too that also the stress of getting to the lessons you know because yeah, of traffic and, oh, yes yeah, that, yeah and sometimes i'll have students that'll come in and they'll just be like they're totally wound up because they're like man like you know somebody cut me off and almost had an accident you know going yeah. way over you know and stuff and it's or like a lot of the adults they're having to decompress after work they just worked yeah, a yeah. full day <laughs> well even though some of them are still yeah they're working mm -hmm. but they're working at home and it's a different it's different the stress well, level is different a certain student comes to mind yeah uh, his job was just eating him alive you yeah. know he would come in so stressed and uh, you know he's a business owner and you know i mean he was just falling apart and then yeah. when he would take the lessons it would help get his mind off that right. stuff for at least an hour right and at the end of the hour he was a different person right. you know, sometimes he, too because he took two lessons at one time yes yeah. <laughs> yeah, he took a lot of lessons it's good i know yeah we're all talking about the same person and it yeah. did help i think it helped him a lot manage the stress yeah. um and that you know and it does it does we've talked about that in other podcasts that it helps stress because it takes your mind off you have to concentrate on doing the music and so it takes your mind off of whatever else is yeah it gives that part around. of your brain a yeah, break it is. yeah and we've had students you know really going through stuff family members you know with cancer and with passing COVID away. and yeah. passing away and, and a lot of students that still wanted to continue with their lessons because that little break really meant a lot to them yeah. it meant a lot it's you know refreshing it's yes brain a chance to decompress you know yeah and it's um it's a real joy i mean to see that light bulb you know we had several families join us this year with you know several you know multiple family members taking lessons and, yeah that's cool and that's kind of neat it's yes. fun and exciting to see the whole family be a part of it oh, yeah. mom and dad helping the kids and and so on and um you know, so it's been really good, and and still having you know some students coming in and some online. The balance has been really nice, um, yeah. and we've had some students, like some of your military students, would you know they go home for Christmas. Same with me. I had yeah. some go home for Christmas. They could still do their lessons Absolutely. Yeah, yes, because they're the yeah we're doing it online, yeah. and then come back. Like you have one this week, and he wants to come back in for a lesson because yeah. he hasn't seen you in a couple right, weeks because right. he's been online. So then you know we work that out. So it's been, it's really been nice to have that flexibility. I think the um, public education, remote learning, gave remote learning a bad a, name. A, yes, a bad it name. Yes, yeah, it did. Because, absolutely. <clears throat> you know, <clears throat> I think that uh, the leadership failed. To hold kids and parents accountable right and it started at the end of the school year when they just said oh we're going to you know lockdown and so there's 
no school, don't worry about grades, you right. know. No tests. Yeah, no, no grades, tests. Yeah. So yeah. what's a kid going to think? Woohoo! Woo summer, you know, yeah. yeah. Party, you That's know. It. And then you got the summer where they normally don't do much school work, and then yeah. they have to head back to school in the fall, and you have to spend so many weeks catching them up because they right. went on vacation for that time and yeah. getting them back to the learning cycle and, you know, how it all works. And uh, then when they came back, they, they were like, it's just, this still the same thing, you know? Yeah. Well, that was it. I talked to a few kids that were remote that ended up coming back. And, uh, you know, this was right before the break. And I, I don't know, I heard some people complaining about it. And I said, oh, yeah, let's just, stop. Let's just be honest, okay? Y'all stopped doing work right. back in April when yes. they first said oh, that we were go. going remote. Absolutely. And then when you had the choice, you thought, oh, it's going to be just like that. Right. I could just yep. sleep in and I could, you know, pick up the computer when I feel like it. And it just, you know, well, just be teachers like... Teachers were around. saying their kids in their pajamas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, laying down. They're laying down. Yeah. not even sitting up. Right. Exactly. You call that school? Get right. out of here, man. Exactly. That was, that was it. So, you know, then all of a sudden when it's like, well, now, yes... You're, you know, you are taking you are tests, taking you are tests. having grades, yes, right. count. grades count, yeah. you know, yeah, all of a sudden, but it was and, and then they fail because they, they let it go yeah. right. for all yeah. that time. How exactly. can they, you know, you can't just snap your fingers and right. boom, kids alert and focused and, you know. Well, and then just, I think that attitude has a lot to do with it too, because, you know, the, the teachers that I know that <laughs> are, that are doing, uh, well, with the remote, not just the ones in this room, but you know, they, they when they started the year, were all in. Yes. Yes. You know, the, it was like one, okay, like this you is mean what the public school teachers yeah, and stuff. Yeah. This is what we're doing. Yes. Okay. Here we go. And even yeah. though we were stressed out and right. and freaking out and all that, it was like all right, this is what we're this doing. This is what we're doing. And, and the people yeah. that were kind of fighting it. That right. were like, oh my God, I can't believe I have to do this. Yeah. I don't know what to, and you know, to be fair, they really didn't give us any, training. hardly, no yeah. training, yeah, yeah, very no, little resources. No structure. No right. structure. No responsibility. Yeah. Was, we, to put pressure on you that and pressure was on the kids. We have a plan and yeah. the plan was figure it out. That like, was the plan. That was the, the plan. plan. Was yeah. come up with the plan. Yeah, yeah. you guys figure yeah. out the plan. Yeah. Yeah, the, the Afterward, state passed it on to the district. Right. Yeah, the district passed, passed it on to the principals. Principals passed it on to the teachers. That was it. That was it. That was a miserable mistake. So all of that gave this, you know, remote learning, you know, kind of a bad rap. And especially here, we're in Pensacola, Florida. So here in the South, especially Escambia County, you definitely got a bad rap. A bad rap. Well, and kids, yeah. you know, kids fail at this because, you know, I mean, you told them you weren't going to have grades and you weren't going to hold them accountable. Right. I mean, what did you really honestly think yeah. was going to happen? Yeah. Unless you were yeah. thinking, okay, it's Armageddon. It's the end of the world. You yeah. know, like summer's going to come. Well, honestly, <laughs> it's I, all going to be gone. Honestly, know? I think that that was the thing. The is I don't think is. back in back in you know March, you know the end of March or so, when all of this started kicking up and stuff started closing. I think a lot of people were thinking it's going to be like this, including people that were in charge. It'll be like this for a month, and then we'll go. And back. then we'll go back. You know, right, we'll just right. we'll turn into two in. months, right. three months. Right. And, and what right. I like now is if the kids failing at home. You got to bring them back in person. Yeah, right. yeah, that's what they're I saying mean, now. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you have a pandemic. People yeah. are sick, really sick, and you know people are going to remote because they don't want to get sick. And then the right. school is like, well, you're failing, kid. Yeah. It's your fault. You're right. failing. Right. You know, talk about their self esteem. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. they they pound a the kid in the ground by blaming him for being a failure doing this remote. And then drag them back into the classroom. You yeah. know, the kids still yeah. trying to catch up the last year. Right. right, right. And there are, you know, I know, I see at my school. I mean, there are a lot of families that are succeeding at it. They are because they're committed to doing it. Parental involvement. Yes. That you, that right. was the go. deciding factor yes. in my mind for anybody succeeding at this. If yes. you just let your kid, okay, here's a computer, mm -hmm. do you do your schoolwork? Or <laughs> it's those darn teachers' fault. Yeah. yeah. Because they're showing up on, they're supposed to be teaching, you know, eight hours a day, and they show up and they're not checking on little Johnny and how he's doing, and so he's failing because he doesn't yeah. understand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The subject matter. <laughs> oh, I know. And we well, what did you that expect? Is, it's like turning the TV well, on. I'm talking yeah. to little Johnny and he's not even on the right. screen. Yeah. Like, you know? Well, and the teacher. I mean, really, the, the teachers that were teaching remote, that are teaching remote, mm -hmm. they're working 
Oh, really uh, yeah. more than, than they and they're researching <clears throat> cute right. things to put up there and do these yeah. you know yeah. interactive games and all of this stuff and yeah. I mean and they're working way more hours and then the ones like at my school we have hybrid classes where we have online classes and in person and yeah. those teachers are having to do both of yeah. different things I mean well and for the, for the kids especially like I think that most most kids when it, especially when it comes to the technology they can figure a lot oh, yeah, of things amazing. out you yeah, know and, and what, really are. well what what kind of proved this to me as you know I, I heard I, I saw something like a meme or something like that and and uh, it I brought it up to the kids attention because I wanted them to do this recording um, you know the choir students to do this this recording and I talked to I said to him okay now guys when you sit there with with your phone on TikTok <laughs> doing all these you know yeah. dances and every move and all this stuff and you can figure out all this stuff you can figure out how to do that you can figure out how to do this yes. yeah you know you and all that was it you know, yeah. right yeah Mr. K knows TikTok, what? You know, yeah. yeah, I was like, come but on, you know, guys. Your point is that when we do remote lessons through Ron K's music, it's We not... do TikTok. No, no we don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's the next episode. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not like that. I mean, yeah. it's one-on-one. -on -one. It's yes. still private instruction. It's you. But see, we're, we're actively, actively involved. And we're actively yeah. involved. With the student. Yes. Right. And, and, that, and, you know, the parents still should be involved. Yeah, well, the, the parents, the parents you can't are. just have prop a kid in front right. of a TV yeah. set or a computer and expect them to learn. Right. You have to be... You know, yeah. yeah, that's what's so cool. Like, I have, well, all of my piano students that are remote, their parent is sitting right there behind the, yeah. and they put, they start and stop the metronome. So as soon as I start to talk, they'll stop the metronome. Yeah, that's so awesome. that they can, yeah, I mean, it's awesome. And yeah. all of them are doing it. And it's not something that I've had to say. Now, sometimes they leave it ticking. I think it's really funny because the one family that I teach, they have, um, Alexa, oh. and they'll say, Alexa, my metronome, 60 beats a minute, and then Alexa <laughs> will say something, you know, and then, then it comes on, and then I'll say, okay, let's do it at 80, and then they say, Alexa, pause, 80 beats per minute, and then Alexa <laughs> oh, puts that, I just Alexa think it's says, so funny. You need to do it again at 60, you're yes. not ready You're not ready, that's yes, right, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> it's it would truly be smart. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> So Are you amazing. sure you're ready to go fast? I know. <laughs> it, it's just uh, that that blew my mind hearing them talk That's about funny. Alexa. That's yeah, funny. They... All right, we're gonna take a quick break. We'll be right back. Oh, a break. And now we're back. That was good. Thank you. Great. Thank you for that break. Okay. <laughs> I feel refreshed. Yes. Uh, uh, oh my gosh. All right. So. so, how are your students doing since the new year has started? Well, I mean, you know, everybody is kind of getting back from vacation or, you know, even if they didn't go anywhere, just being out of the routine, out of right. the schedule and stuff. Some people, you know, went real hardcore. Like, you know, I've got a, I've got a student that's working on uh, uh, his, uh, he's applying for colleges, you know. Yeah. And so he kind of like really kicked it up because, yes. you know, and I mean, of course, I kind of, you know, I told him like, hey, Time you, to kick it you up. got it. Yeah. yeah like go. this is you got to take advantage of every yeah, second. I heard that know. lesson. Yeah, and it was really good. It was this, very yeah, motivating. I'm very proud of that student. He's yeah. doing yes. awesome. Yeah, he's doing good. So, you know, <clears> we'll uh, we'll see. He's applying to a lot of different schools and, you know. See, we see what happens, you know. But uh, you know, he's he, I, I have all the confidence that he's going to do well. So you know, I had a few students like him that just kind of really dug deep, and then I had a few that you know, kind of chilled a little bit. And it's kind of like you that know, happens. that's how we it goes. You know? that. Yeah, yeah we so, do. You know, but uh, but I I think you know I'm looking forward to you know kind of getting getting back into the swing of things and you know seeing what what we can do this year and. Um, you know, I'm really happy with being able to, you know, kind of put some of these ideas out there, like, you know, like what we're doing with the podcast and stuff, you know, I'm really enjoying this, but, you know, just kind of trying to encourage people, you know, there's so many uh, misconceptions about what it's like to, you know, learn an instrument, and, oh, yeah, you definitely. know, or learn, you know, learn how to sing or whatever. And, uh, you know, I kind of go back to what I said before about, the process, you know, we were talking about the football teams, but I think that's that, you know, kind of really hit home with me right. was, was that, you know, 
if you if you understand, you know, take take out of time that you're spending researching your equipment, you know, and researching your what exact type of model of guitar you want. Take all that time that you spend playing around in the store, you know, and watching other people play and stuff. Take that time and research the process of learning how to play an instrument. Research people who are successful, see what they did. Right. See what the you know. common denominator was. Right, yeah. right. So That's you right. understand, okay, I want to be, you know, because everybody, you know, there's, Everybody wants to achieve, right? Yeah. You want to you want to start an instrument and you want to achieve good things on that. You know, and and you get an idea in your head of what it would be like you see somebody play. Oh man, I'd like to be able to play like that, you know, and stuff. And you you can't possibly at that point in time know exactly what that's going to feel like to be the person up there on stage playing and performing. And a lot of times it's not what you think. <laughs> like yeah. you know, I think about like myself, like there's a lot of times where I'll do, you know, performances and stuff and i did that that one video for instagram right. okay you want to take a guess at how many times i recorded that oh i maybe 20 yeah that was probably about close <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that was it she knows that was well, it. i know what it takes yeah, yeah. Because that was the thing is, it was just like, and I had, you know, nope, stop, redo it, lighting wasn't right, the angle wasn't right, now I, did, I didn't like how I did the vowels on that one, I wanted I to do it again, and then my tongue was dropped. Mom is going to listen to me hit that note. That yeah, was it, mom's going to listen to me, she's going to say, you're pulling your tongue back, you're pulling your tongue back, <laughs> <laughs> pulling your tongue back. <laughs> it's the like, curse of having a mother. <laughs> yeah, like a vocal expert, you know, it's like, oh my gosh. So, um, yeah, but I mean, that's what goes into doing. Now, yeah. it's extremely rewarding when you get it done and it's successful it's and you're proud of it. And, you know, it's like, okay, there's my performance. I was good. But, you know, but see, the thing is, so why did I go through it? And I don't even know. There wasn't, it wasn't like there were millions of people that saw that video. But why did I go through that process? Why did I go through doing that? I love doing that. I know. Like, like I like... Enjoying the journey. Yes. Well, yes. and you like expressing yourself that way. But it's not you just know. that, because I could have done that one time, yes. and that would have been it. It yeah. was the fact that I wanted that to be... I had an idea. Wanted I want to, this to yeah. sound this way, yeah. look this way. Yeah. Kind of like yeah. sculpting something. Yes. Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. And so when you understand what the process is like, and then that's it. Love the process because yeah. you're going to be doing that a lot more yeah. than, than the amount of times where you're just sitting on the porch playing for a bunch of people in the neighborhood. Yeah. You know, like that, like those moments are very few. And, yeah. and, you know, you spend way more time grinding two measures over and over yeah. and over again, you know, yeah. to get this to get this skill. Then you do, you know, showing off and hot dogging for people. So, and even though the hot dogging thing is fun, it is fun to grind something out, have yeah. something that you couldn't do. That if now you understand the hands. process, you yeah. know, it right. can be frustrating if you don't. So, if you understand it, you know what's involved, you work your way through it. That's it. You, you don't let it, you know, defeat you because yes. you're not immediately successful. But, you know, if you keep trying, you'll get better. And That's better it, because you understand this is how yes. it works, you yeah. know. Yeah, that's it. So I want I want everybody, you know, whether there are students or not, anybody who is, you know, starting their music endeavors or in the middle of their musical endeavors or careers to realize that, you know, enjoy and, the journey. and enjoy the journey and be comfortable right. with the with the struggle be comfortable with the the hustle you know because then just like when you're hustling with the browns for all these years <laughs> and they finally make the playoffs yeah, it means a heck of a lot yeah, more you know than when it's just a give it you know yeah. it, is, it should be kind of obvious and common sense i mean how many people can hit consecutive free throws oh yeah you know, oh, yeah 20 right. in a row Blum. yeah Blum. Oh yeah. Blum. Yeah. And you know, just take your average person, put a basketball in their hand, put right. it on the top of the key, and start firing away. Right. See what happens. Right. You know how how much how often is it going to go in? Right. Yeah. You know, if you're lucky, you might get a couple. I was going right. to say. I yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That's it. That's it. But you know, if you practice, yeah, you did that a lot, That's you would it. get unless you're you shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Sorry, Shaq. Yeah. <laughs> no offense intended, man. <laughs> His foot is bigger than my head. Come on. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's good. It's good. So, all right. Well, we're back. 
We are back to our weekly podcast. Come to a weekly the podcast. Holidays are over. We'll do we this. We are back. Yes. And we're the three best friends that anybody <laughs> could have. We're the three best friends. All right. Well, good to be back. Coffee's kicked in, so this yes. is good. All right. And we're starting our... our uh, can we call this a vlog, I guess? Maybe? A vlog. 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 It's okay. a vlog. Yeah. So we've got... We're, we're on YouTube so like now. Vloglet. The chocolate yeah. blog. No. Choc- <laughs> video chocolate. Video no. chocolate. No. Video chocolate. Vloglet. I don't think is. so. It's chocolate for your eyes. <laughs> so in from our podcast, chocolate for your ears. Uh, there you so go. That's, <laughs> that's catchy. That's it. That's it. That's the new slogan. That's the new slogan. Oh. <laughs> Coffee with the K's. Caffeine for your ears. Uh, yes. <laughs> All right. Very good. Well, we're going to wrap it up there before this totally derails and we lose all of our audience. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you for joining us. Um, be sure to subscribe to this podcast. We are on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Anchor, FM, and Spotify. Along with a whole ton of others, YouTube. but that'll work. Yes, on YouTube, if you're watching this, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like, share this with your friends, your family, your co-workers, even people, if you don't like them that much, share it with them anyway. <laughs> <laughs> that would be good. All right? And be sure you can check us out on Instagram. We're Ron K's Music Instruction on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, as well as musiclessonspensacola.com. And uh, the intro music for this video, intro and outro music, comes off of k Struction by Ron K. <laughs> that album is available on Apple, Spotify, and everywhere you stream music. So be sure to check that out. Thank you very much for joining us. We will talk to you next time. All right. right.